This part example is in a horizontal machining center, and if we take away the view of the machine and the view of the fixture temporarily and zoom in on the part, we can see that the part has many holes around the outside of it, and due to both part size and the material, it will not be possible to machine all of the 113,000 holes with a single tool. We will need to change tools during the machining process for this hole. Let's begin by creating features in EdgeCam, and we'll ask EdgeCam to find vertical holes, and notice that the Group Similar Holes option is checked, as is the standard default, and we'll look at holes from the top CPL. The results are that we have a single hole feature, item number 8, that's 113 thousandths diameter and has a total of 96 holes. We're going to want to break this into our own unique hole grouping to speed up the machining process. Let's begin by changing to the top CPL and then looking down through that CPL just from a viewing aid perspective. In order to break up the whole group, we go to the Setup tab and use the Explode command. And we'll select the whole feature that we wish to explode, and we can give it a color and layer if we wish. I'm going to separate this out to a layer called Hole 2, just to make it simpler to see what we're doing here. I can now take the Hole 2 layer and show only that layer, and then focus on that for regrouping holes. Working on the Features window, I'm going to choose the Group Holes command, and give these a name if I wish, 113 first. And then, as normal, we'll choose the layer that items should go on to, and the color to assign to them. And then following the prompt, select the holes for grouping. I could pick the holes one by one, but we'll simply use the window selection technique to grab the first group. And then I'll continue and make a second group. So we'll name this one 113 second. And again, the same idea. I'll window select those items. And then if I want to simply repeat the command from the right-click menu, we can get the shortcut of recently used commands and speed up the process even more. 113 third. And then one final time. With the whole features grouped, we now have quadrant one, two, three, and four. And this will give me a great deal of flexibility during the machining process. We'll select to do first the spot drilling. And for the spot drilling, I'm just going to select all of the holes. So we're selecting all four features as the target for spot drilling. Now for finishing, I only want to select one quadrant worth of holes. The resulting tool path machine is just a single quadrant, and now we can go ahead and copy out the move to tool change command and add suitable commenting to the program to explain what we want to do. Check tool, and also a program stop. And then I can take all of this tool path, quickly copy it, edit the whole cycle, clear out the old prompts, and pick to target the second quadrant's worth of holes. We can repeat that on the third and fourth items and very quickly wind up with toolpath that is targeted to specific items within our whole group. EdgeCam simulation is able to predict machining results.